Good morning. Today I am here to take the topic Fertility Control and Rhythm Method. First of all, let us look what is fertility control. As we all know, in humans, coitus and ovulation are not synchronized. So the sexual receptivity of human females is not confined to the period of ovulation. So as a result, there is a chance for unwanted pregnancies and births. So in order to avoid this, it is a method of avoiding unwanted pregnancies by adopting many technologies which are of various kinds. What is the need for this fertility control? It controls the increasing population, it maintains the health of the family and the mother and it is for a better education and better care of the children to have only the number of children and the couple wants to have and also for special cases like RH incompatibility, risky factors like RH incompatibility or cesarean births. Now let us look the measures of fertility control. There are major two methods of fertility control. They are contraception and abortion. Contraception, the term means being able to block conception or conceiving. It is a method which allows the intercourse and yet prevents the conception. It can be of temporary when the effect of the preventing pregnancy lasts while couple uses the method. The permanent methods include the cutting and tying of gonads as we all are familiar with this term that is vasectomy in case of male and tubectomy in case of fe female. Natural contraceptions are of two types that is complete abstinence and withdrawal method or coitus interruptus. As we can see the birth control options here, the various usage of birth control implant, oral contraceptives or oral pills, vaginal rings, condoms, intrauterine device or IUDs etc. Complete abstinence Complete abstinence is the method when the couple refrain from the act of sexual intercourse. Here in this case there is no risk of getting pregnant and also any kind of STDs that is sexually transmitted diseases. Next one is the withdrawal method or coitus interruptus. It is a traditional family planning method in which the male withdraws his penis before the ejaculation so thereby preventing the deposition of semen into the vagina. It is a method which is not always successful because some amount of semen may be released even before the climax is reached. It involves both psychological and physiological problems for the couple. It requires highly motivated couples with active male participation. Next one is the rhythm method. This method is based on the lifespan of the sperm and ovum. So the lifespan of sperm is almost 2 days or 48 hours and that of ovum is 1 day or 24 hours at body temperature. Usually the menstrual cycle of a woman complete in 28 days or for about 30 days it varies from woman to woman. So almost the ovulation occur on the 14th day. So there is a high chance for the lady to get pregnant if intercourse is done during these days. So this is the day in which the intercourse has to be avoided. So and also few days prior and three days after the ovulation. So a risky period is from the day 10 to day 17 in which the couple has to avoid the intercourse. It is also known as the danger or risk period. The remaining days are called safe period but it is not 100% safe because there may be some chances of getting pregnant during these days. Due to the irregular menstrual cycle, women who are about to reach menopause have irregular menstrual cycle and in many cases women can't track their menstrual cycle so thereby commit mistakes. So these are the uh, chances for the failure. That's all. Thank you.